What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. My name is Kevin. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button right now and uh, let's get to it. So you might hear some goats crying in the background and uh, it's nothing normal. Uh, we just got home from work and I know it's feeding time. So that's what I'm out here doing. But I want to show something to you guys first. Uh, we're going to start on a new project hopefully this weekend. I just looked at the weather a little bit ago and it looks like it's going to be pretty decent. Uh, no rain and... Um, got a delivery from Lowe's right here behind me this past weekend and we didn't get a chance to start on it yet um, this is going to be a fence around our raised bed garden here because you can see perfect example let me zoom in here what old miss red is doing right here these chickens like to come out here every day and dig around, scratch around in here, and eat all the bugs. Yeah, you heard me talking about you, didn't you, Red? <laughs> you can see what they do. There's some weeds and grass in there, and they dig around and uh, get all these bugs out of there. They're not really too bad for the garden, but what they do is they get in here and kick all the dirt out, and uh, that's all good stuff that we want to keep in there. And uh, the garden's looking pretty shabby right now. I got a you can see here some of this uh, weed barriers coming up and the mulch and all that's kind of worn down this and that well we're going to try to revamp this raised bed garden and uh, we got a bunch of treated lumber right here and um, I'm not going to talk too much about it but what our plan is is to run like a 2 by 10 along the bottom use 4 by 4 post and like a 2 by 6 top rail and I think we're going to go with the 60 inch um, like garden wire around it. We were going to do chain link. It's a little bit more expensive. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to build it on top of the ground so it's not exactly permanent because we might have some other ideas in the future. But for this year, we are going to use this. And uh, uh, the reason behind the not making it permanent by setting all the concrete post, the 4x4 post in concrete, is because we might want to actually do something different in the future. And that way, the way we're doing it is if we build it on top of the ground and not concrete the post in, we can reuse it and repurpose it for another project. So we're going to do that. Uh, hopefully we'll get started on it this weekend, I hope. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. When you get to live on a farm, you could stay busy every day of your life. I promise you will never get caught up. So anyways, um, that's one project that we're going to get busy on. And um, I'm going to walk out here and show you guys something else I didn't show you all in some of the last videos. In one of the last videos you've seen where we built the uh, rock piles, the flat rocks. We built them up and made some uh, little toys for the goats and, well, the big goats and the little goats to jump on. Well, we did that over here in the uh, Spanish uh, pasture, in the Kiko pasture. And I didn't show you guys that because we were pretty much done filming. And we got done with dinner and all that. We still had some light left thank god uh, our days are getting longer so we came over here and we built one for the uh, spanish we actually built one over in the big pasture and we built one over here where they are temporary so uh i'll show you guys that you see ginger is uh being a model for us right now ginger what do you think about that rock huh the other day when we first built it the boys were on it and they wouldn't let her on there they were playing king of the mountain And I did share that on our YouTube community page. If you are a joined member of our YouTube community page, I shared a picture of Hercules and some of his sons and some of Jerkface Jr.'s sons on there. They were all playing King of the Mountain. And uh, Hercules, our big Spanish buck, was actually being really easy with the babies. It was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, they were having a good time on there. And guys, if you're not a member of our channel, what that is, it's a $4.99 fee. And you just go to any of our videos and down below by the subscribe button, you'll see a join button. Uh, click on that, follow the instructions. It's $4.99 a month. And what that does is it allows you to see some footage and some other things as a member that don't get posted on our uh, page for everybody. And I know not everybody can afford it, but what it is, it's just like a little sneak peek. Uh, sometimes I post pictures of what the next few videos are going to be, stuff like that. But anyways, um, talking about YouTube, oh, a couple videos back, I got to be careful not to say the trigger word. I'll let you guys figure it out, and I got to be careful how I say it because there's a lot of trigger words involved. It's a C word, 
and it's something that's going pretty viral around the world right now and I was talking about it in a video the other day well YouTube sent me a nice little alert saying your video has been demonetized okay uh, it was a pretty much everyday video like I always do showing the goats and this and that well I challenged it I requested a manual review and what that is is if you talk about certain things that YouTube does not like, Google doesn't like, um, politics might be some of it, I don't know. I've got to be careful what I say. Um, freedom sticks, stuff like that. I know Dutch throws out a lot of stuff. He has to be careful. He's learned the hard way as well. Um, if you say stuff like that on here, if you bring up a topic that they do not like or agree with, they will demonetize your video. Uh, they'll make it yellow, which means your ads are limited. We don't get hardly any money for it. They can make it red to where you don't get any money for it and they do not push your channel or push your videos at all. So you got to be very, very careful. I know Jeremy and Melissa at Good Simple Living, they're some of our good friends here on YouTube that we've made through YouTube. They have awesome content and they are in the middle of fixing to sell their place where they live now and they're going to live off pretty much off grid for a while in Idaho. They're going to start this awesome build out there. In the middle of nowhere they got mountains in the background and all this and that anyways go check them out good simple living they got a ton of yellow videos which demonetize videos because they're butchering rabbits showing uh prepper way uh lifestyle i guess you can say prepper lifestyle stuff like that and i don't know what it is if people are flagging the videos i don't know if people's flagging our videos because they don't agree with that type of stuff or if it's just youtube um screening it and doing it yourself but anyways it makes things difficult when you're a youtube creator and uh you try hard when you make these videos not to get on there and say these trigger words because when you do they got these robots that scan our videos every time we upload them and if they hear one word in there or you got it in the title or the description it, it scans everything your yellow your video will come up yellow and your ads are limited you don't hardly make any money on there which sometimes you got to come to a point and say, do I really care if I make money? I kind of want to speak my voice, but you got to be careful because if you get strikes and all that, I don't even know about it all. You can get your channel deleted off of YouTube and I don't want that. So we got we got to try to be careful. So anyways, back to that. I won't talk about it anymore, but hopefully everybody's uh, being careful because I've been watching the news and things have been getting crazy lately it's getting getting ramped up a little bit but anyways these goats are waiting for me to feed them i'm not going to make a super long video uh the next video i do we will hopefully be doing one over building the uh, fence around our raised beds garden i'm gonna go get these guys some food real quick and feed them so every time i go get food they are still used to getting fed in the barn and it's been if you guys caught one of the last videos i moved their feeders out here because it's nice weather, nicer weather now. It is Oklahoma, so don't let it fool you because we have had some pretty big uh, snowfalls in March in Oklahoma. So what I'm going to do is go get a bucket of feed, and as soon as they see me go get feed, they will all run into the barn still. I got a skeeter here. He's checking out the turkeys. Oh, I got some uh, more exciting news. So the exciting news is the other day, I didn't have my camera with me and I went to go check the eggs. I did my feeding and that day I was not making a video. I went into the old peacock and turkey pen and where I had those nest boxes where all the little baby goats like to take their naps. There was a turkey egg in there. So these turkeys have officially started laying and uh, I got that egg in the house. I'm going to try to save up enough to uh, get them put in the incubator and get some more turkeys hatched out. So uh, got four of these turkey hens. I am trying to look online right now. I've been looking on eBay about every day and I have not found any. I'm looking for some purebred black Spanish turkey hatching eggs. If anybody knows anybody that raises black Spanish turkeys, I would be super interested in buying some hatching eggs from them. I want purebred black Spanish. These are all kind of black Spanish, but they're not pure. So uh, we want purebred. So if anybody knows of anybody that has black Spanish turkeys, or if you're coming across somewhere that's selling eggs or something like that, let me know and uh, 
Send me an email or leave a comment down below and I will buy them because we really want to raise some more black Spanish turkeys here on our farm, but they must be purebred. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go grab a bucket, feed Daisy and feed these. Ah, they're already gone. I told you guys. I'm going to grab some feed and get them fed. Okay. So they heard me coming and they all come running. So this is what it is like to get bombarded by not even a big herd of goats. I'm going to try to set this camera up over here. I'm going to show you guys how difficult it is to feed these guys. Y'all gonna let me in there? And the race is on. These guys are crazy. They're crazy. Guys, it's all the same. Every bucket's the same, I promise. Taylor Swift. Tiny. Oh, what nonsense. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But it does help having, uh, you can see I got the big trough over here. And then I got two of the bigger pails, which kind of spread out. And I'll throw, I'll take a handful and I'll throw a little bit in the trough. And I'll try to run over to the pails and fill them up. And then run back over there because no matter where you go, they always think the food's better right where the bucket's at for some reason. And uh, Miss Daisy's waiting on her food, aren't you girl? Huh? You waiting on your food? Yeah, look at her little face. All right, come on. So guys, if you're new to the channel, um, this is Daisy, she is our Anatolian Shepherd. She lives over here with the Spanish and Kikos. And she is our main guard dog on our bigger herd. So uh, she's been doing a great job. And she's very, very photogenic. And she loves making videos. Skeeter, come on, let's go see if there's any turkey eggs, bud. All right, got the pygmy kikos fed, and the babies are starting to nibble around on the food over here now, so that's a good sign. Means they are starting to get weaned. Kimmy, what are you doing in the flick tub? <laughs> you guys get all sticky in there, silly girl. Come here. Man, she is just so beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna go check for turkey eggs real quick. I have not noticed a certain place where these turkeys have been going, because you guys know they like to fly over the fence every day. And normally when turkeys are laying, they will make a clutch of egg, or make a little nest and lay a clutch of eggs there all the time until they get enough and then they'll go broody and they'll sit on them and try to hatch them out. But, uh, we're going to try to keep an eye on them to when they do start laying all these eggs. And when they do, we're going to try to just grab them all and put them in the incubator. So, no eggs today. I guess it's kind of like an Easter egg hunt sometimes because you never know where they're going to lay them. But, so far we've only got one egg and that was two days ago and it was in this nest box. So, you want to talk about entertainment. These guys right here. I promise you can sit here and watch them all day long. We got all these toys set up in our front pasture where these guys are. And then we got the rocks set up. And they're right outside our window pretty much when we sit in our living room. We can look out our big windows here and uh, just watch these guys play all day long. And it's pretty entertaining. It's, these guys are so comical. They all got their own little characters. And uh, it's just it's joyful to be able to watch that. But anyways, guys, I am going to end this video now. So, uh... I just wanted to kind of touch base with all the viewers about the video I made the other day. I got scolded by YouTube and a message to any of our friends that have YouTube channels. Be careful what you say because they are really screening. And if you guys say the wrong trigger words, your videos will be demonetized for sure. 
So, if you guys are new to the channel, like I said earlier, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Click that notification bell so you know when we post new content. What that does is, as soon as we upload a video, usually, if it works right, you'll get a little notification on your computer, on your phone, whatever you use to watch YouTube. And it'll tell you, hey, Hidden Heights Farm just uploaded a new video. So click that bell, leave a comment down below, and if you know anyone with these black Spanish turkey eggs, or if you raise any, please hit me up, and we will be happy to uh, pay for them, we'll pay for shipping, whatever. I've been looking online, I've been looking on eBay, I cannot find any, and we want to do it pretty quick. So if you guys can help me out, we would super, super, truly appreciate it. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Did I just say super, super, really appreciate it? Anyways, guys, what I meant to say is we would really, really appreciate it if you guys could help us out with those eggs. See you next time.